our next speaker is Song Lin Lee, who's a PhD student at the Australian National University. Yeah. Um, I'll hand straight over to you. So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Song Lin Lee from uh, ANU, and um, I'm talking about the fundamental analysis applying with the Bayesian method. Okay, so let's start from the well-known uh, relationship in the uh, local star-forming galaxies. So in local star-forming galaxies, I uh, find that there is a tight relationship between the star formation, uh, sorry, the metallicity and the stellar mass. So this relation is very tight that the scatter is only about 0.1 dex. And the further works find that um, this relation does not only ex exist in the local universe, and it also exists in the early universe. And when the uh, galaxies go through the cosmic time, the normalization just becomes bigger and bigger. All right, so even though this relationship is very tight, astronomers are not satisfied, so they want more. So they always consider that their dependence on some other parameters that can further reduce the scatter. So um, the star formation rate comes to their mind because we also know that there is a tight relationship between the um, star formation rate and the stellar mass, which is the star forming mean sequence. So um, in 2010, two different groups simultaneously find this result. So when they put the star formation rate into the consideration, and they find that uh, in this 3D diagram, all the galaxies just form a very tight plane. And um, this is very tight, that the scatter is only about 0.05 dex. And the most intriguing thing in this subject is that they find that this plane is, doesn't change through the cosmic time. So this, this is why it is called the fundamental, because it never evolved. So the observed evolution of the MZ relationship before is only when the galaxy evolved through the cosmic time, they just span different regions uh, in this same plane, but the plane itself doesn't change at all. So this may reveal some fundamental physical mechanisms that never change through the cosmic time. But the story is not end here, but it's just actually it just began because um, both the dependency on the star formation rate and the non-evolution of this plane are highly controversial. So, uh, for example, if we change the malice indicator uh, or we just choose a physical fixed aperture, for example, the one effect radius, and you can see that the dependence on the star formation rate just disappeared. So uh, this one, uh, sorry. So you can see that the dependence on the supplement rate disappeared and also disappeared. All right, uh, another thing about this topic is that so all the fo uh, previous work are focused on the star-forming galaxies because the metallicity indicator are developed by the H2 models. 